stories. There are fears that the H1N1 virus has now mutated and resembles the Spanish flu virus that killed more than 50 million people at the beginning of the 20th century. Ukrainian doctors say the lungs of the victims are as black as charcoal. This prompts fresh concern that the swine flu virus has taken a deadly new form. Our correspondent Igor Orgorodnev went to the epicenter of the outbreak in western Ukraine. Make no mistake about it, Ukraine is in the throes of a swine flu crisis. I'm here in Lviv. Lviv has been one of the hot spots where the virus has been at its worst. Some of the parts of the hospitals here, which are intended for other illnesses, have been refurbished and swine flu patients have been put in them. It's become fashionable to trivialize swine flu and say it's just like normal flu. But doctors here say it isn't. It's more aggressive and it's more likely to lead to complications, particularly pneumonia. There's been worldwide speculation as to why Ukraine has been specifically so hard hit by it. In fact, there have been some theories published in the British papers suggesting that the virus had mutated in Ukraine and had become something more potent than it had been elsewhere in the world. That's what they're saying, but it has not so far been confirmed by Ukrainian scientists. Ukraine is in the run-up to its presidential election, and there have been a few political points to be scored over this crisis, such as who let this crisis get out of control, who is in the best position to deal with it, and also Tamiflu. The one cure which is proven to work against swine flu. How is the best way to get it? Is it being distributed fairly? Should people be getting it for free? These are all questions which have been discussed endlessly by Ukrainian politicians and also in the Ukrainian media, which has been stoking this fire and attracting attention to this particular crisis. The doctors here are actually saying that they're winning the battle against swine flu. They're saying that the amount of patients coming in is getting smaller almost every day and that this wave is going down. But what they are saying is that it might return over the next few weeks, perhaps months and even years. So it's far too premature to be talking about.